In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this standalone version of the walk around collecting game. I'll show you how to use the shift key to give a fast forward. First of all, I'll show you how to set up two cameras, a top camera and a normal camera, and how to switch between them. The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in the previous tutorial. You can make the file yourself by following the tutorials, or you can download the file by clicking the link or by visiting my website. Add a camera to the scene, click its object properties, and call the new camera top camera. Right click and reset all its rotational values to zero and use the tip of the blue arrow to move the camera up. View cameras set active object as camera. Click the object data properties and set the lens to orthographic. Drag on the orthographic scale until the ground plane just fills the view. Because the Android is facing in the negative Y direction, I'm going to set the Z rotation of the camera to 180 and use the tip of the green arrow to move the camera so that the Android's start position is just in view. To go back to the original camera, in the outliner window, click the minus to close up the death scene. Click the plus to open up the armature. The camera is a child of the armature. Select it. In the view menu, cameras, set active object as camera. In the outliner window, select the empty and add two keyboard sensors and two scene actuators. Scrolling down, change the mode of the scene actuator to set camera. In the camera object field, select top camera. When the user presses T on the keyboard, change to the top camera. Give the logic bricks meaningful names, cam top and T and close them up. Set the mode of the second scene actuator to set camera. Select the original camera. When the user presses N, set the camera back to the normal camera. To make the Android move forward faster when the up arrow and the shift key are pressed, Select the armature, add a keyboard sensor and a motion actuator. Scroll down, click on the key field and press the shift key. Set the Y location to minus 0.2, which is four times the up arrow and connect those up. I have jumped ahead and named and closed up the logic bricks. If we connect the up arrow key press to the AND controller, then the user has to press the up arrow and the shift key to get fast forward. To make a standalone version of the game, click the Render Properties button, scroll down and set Shading to GLSL OpenGL. Scroll up and in the Standalone Player panel, Set the size of the game window to what you want. I'm going to set mine to 1120 by 630, which is a ratio of 16 to 9 and small enough to fit in this tutorial. Click Start and the game plays in its own window. I can press T for the top camera and I can press Shift to go a lot faster. There is an add-on for exporting the game files, file user preferences. Click the add-ons button, click the game engine category and open up the add-ons. Both add-ons allow you to make a standalone version of a game. The first one is more powerful because it allows you to manage versions and platforms. I'm going to demonstrate the second one 
that allows you to create a standalone version of a game for the version of Blender and platform that you are using. Click Save User Settings to have the add-on available for this session and future sessions. If you only want it available for this session, click Close. File, Export, there's now an option Save as Game Engine Runtime, click it. Go to or make a suitable folder. Give the file a meaningful name. Walk Game and click Save as Game Engine Runtime. It takes a few seconds for the files to be copied over. When it's finished, you can go to the folder and double click the .exe file to play the game. Your virus checker or your system may block the running of the .exe file. You may have to change some settings, but the standalone version should run on a computer that does not have Blender installed. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.